Hello everyone, this is a short video where I will show you how to integrate Bitbucket the torch with Microsoft Teams. So let's jump into it. So first let's jump into Bitbucket, find Microsoft Teams Bitbucket connector and create a rule. In this case here's a URL. I will show you how to get the URL. So here's our channel. We click on workflows, we tap here post. And this is the first one, post to channel when a webhook request is received. And you can leave name as by default or from bitbucket.org. Then it verifies that you, who you are, you say. It may take a couple of seconds. And basically signing in using your Microsoft Teams credentials. As you see from it there. And more or less that's it. So you add the workflow, one simple step to send message to the channel. Here's the URL. Then we jump into Webflows, turn into Microsoft Teams Bitbucket Connector settings, we save. As you see, I configured everything possible. And now we can do some funny exercise. So we will do very sophisticated change. And as you see, we are here. Here's our channel, demo time. So after, all, after this message demo time, we should be getting all our notifications. And of course, very sophisticated change commit and we'll create a pull request call it dev like this and do the commit it will create a feature branch which will should get a notification then we'll get a pull request we'll do a command here c2 very smart commit as well we'll finish the review submit approve and merge delete the branch and that's it and now as you see here's our test message here feature branch was created pull request was commented pull request was created approved our pipeline ran successfully then we did the push then we did the delete of the branch push and pull request merge so it's basically it's not advisable to do like i did configured all possible events i would only configure the meaningful ones like pipeline failed succeeded request created approved and so on but only meaningful one not everything otherwise as you see the channel will be very noisy so the same functionality also works for incoming web hooks as well as for workflows as you see both of those channels got those messages because i have two rules which are actually doing the same to show you that microsoft teams bitbucket connector supports both ways to integrate with microsoft teams if you got any questions feel free to comment this video thank you very much